Hello and welcome back to Volumes of Origin. Today, we're going to tell you the amazing and inspiring story of Sergeant Stubby, the small stray dog who became a war hero during World War I. Despite his humble beginnings, Stubby showed remarkable bravery and intelligence on the battlefield and went on to become one of the most famous and decorated military dogs in history. From warning his unit of gas attacks to capturing a German spy, Stubby's heroic acts are truly incredible. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by the story of Sergeant Stubby. Sergeant Stubby's origin and breed are not entirely clear, but it's believed that he was a mixed breed dog with some terrier and bulldog ancestry. Sergeant Stubby became the mascot for the 102nd Infantry Regiment when he wandered onto the regiment's training grounds on the campus of Yale University in 1917. Private J. Robert Conroy, who was training with the regiment at that time, took a liking to Stubby and began caring for him. Stubby quickly became popular with the soldiers and was allowed to stay with the regiment as it deployed to France to fight in World War I. Sergeant Stubby's training was informal and mostly conducted by his handler, Private J. Robert Conroy. As a stray dog, Stubby had already learned some survival skills and street smarts, which Conroy was able to build upon to prepare him for service in the military. Conroy trained Stubby to respond to commands and to recognize specific sounds and smells on the battlefield. He also trained Stubby to be comfortable around people and to follow basic military protocols such as standing at attention during formations and marches. Stubby's intelligence and intuition allowed him to learn quickly and adapt to different situations on the battlefield. For example, he learned to recognize the sound of incoming gas attacks and would warn his unit by barking and even pulling on their gas masks to ensure they were properly secured. While Stubby's training was not as formal as that of other military animals, such as horses or pigeons, his natural instincts and his close bond with Conroy allowed him to perform his duties with incredible bravery and efficiency. Sergeant Stubby was present at many significant battles alongside the 102nd Infantry Regiment, 26th Yankee Division, including the Battle of Chateau Thierry and the Mayuse Argonne Offensive. During his service, Stubby performed numerous acts of bravery and intelligence that earned him a reputation as one of the greatest war dogs in history. Some of Stubby's most notable accomplishments during his service in the war include alerting his units to incoming gas attacks by barking and pulling on their gas masks to ensure they were properly secured, locating wounded soldiers on the battlefield and leading medics to them, capturing a German spy by biting him on the leg and holding him until the soldiers could apprehend him, warning his unit of an impending artillery attack, allowing them to take cover and avoid casualties, providing comfort and moral support to the soldiers including cuddling with them during downtime and boosting morale during marches and patrols. Stubby's service in the war earned him numerous accolades and awards, including the rank of sergeant and several military medals. His bravery was celebrated by soldiers and civilians alike, and he became a beloved and iconic figure of World War I. Sergeant Stubby's first battle was the Battle of Chateau Thierry, which took place on July 18, 1918. During the battle, Stubby was wounded by shrapnel from a German grenade, but he recovered quickly and returned to the front lines with his unit. Stubby's injury did not deter him from his duties, and he continued to serve with distinction throughout the rest of the war, earning several military medals and becoming one of the most celebrated war dogs of all time. After his injury, Stubby was outfitted with a specially made coat that featured a gas mask attached to the collar. Sergeant Stubby was recognized and awarded for his service during World War I and became one of the most decorated war dogs in history. Some of the awards and honors that he received include the Purple Heart, which he received for being wounded in action at the Battle of Chateau Thierry, the Sergeant Stubby Medal, which was created specifically for him by the Humane Education Society in 1921, the French Croix de Guerre, which he received for his bravery and service during the war. The Grand Cross of the Red Star, which he received from the government of France in recognition of his bravery and service. And the Gold Medal of the Humane Society of the United States, which he received in 1921. 
In addition to his military awards, Sergeant Stubby also received recognition from various organizations and groups. He was invited to meet several presidents, including Woodrow Wilson, Calvin Coolidge, and Warren G. Harding, and was celebrated in parades and events across the country. After the end of World War I, Sergeant Stubby returned to the United States with his handler, Private J. Robert Conroy. Stubby's return to the U.S. was highly publicized, and he was celebrated as a hero by both the public and the military. Upon his arrival, Stubby was welcomed with a parade in New York City, where he met with several dignitaries and celebrities, including General John J. Pershing and silent film star Al Jolson. Stubby also made several appearances at fundraisers and charity events, where he helped to raise money for veterans and other causes. After his initial return, Stubby continued to make public appearances and became somewhat of a celebrity. He was invited to attend sporting events and political rallies, and he even had a role in a silent film called Sergeant Stubby Comes Home. Despite his fame, Stubby remained loyal to his handler, Conroy, and accompanied him to Georgetown University, where Conroy attended law school. Stubby became a fixture on campus, attending classes with Conroy and serving as the Georgetown Hoyas team mascot. Sergeant Stubby lived a long and happy life with Conroy, passing away on March 16, 1926, at the age of about 10 years old. He was honored with a full military funeral and buried on the Georgetown University campus, where his legacy continues to be celebrated and remembered to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our video today on the most decorated dog of World War I, Sergeant Stubby. We hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely leave a like and a comment to tell us what you think. And we'd love it if you would subscribe and join the family. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.